What's up everyone? It's Jessica. Welcome into my channel. So today we're doing a passion video of mine. I'm very passionate about the Misha BB cream. I've loved this darn BB cream for years and I recently tried a new BB cream. Well, it's newer to me, the Purito BB cream and I fell in love with that one too. And I was like, I would love to compare these literally half my face with one half with the other, which is what we're doing today to really see like which one is better, how do they compare, if you've been thinking about want, buying one or the other, which one should you get? We are doing a deep dive today, baby. So first, 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 I want to share with you guys me applying these so I can really show you what they look like, how they apply, and little details like that. Afterwards, we will get into the nitty gritty of the comparisons and which one I would recommend for you. Let's dive in. All right, I've zoomed you in nice and close so you can really see what these will look like when I put them on. So we're gonna do the Misha one over here and the Purito one over here. Let's start with the Misha. The official name is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I wear the shade number 23. And packaging wise, it seems like a squeezy tube, but it actually has a pump on the end and then a little cap on top. So when I don't have a lot of time, what I will typically do is just put some on my fingers, rub it in and literally rub it on my face as though it's like a sunscreen. Pat in the last little bits, especially where it might sit weird if you don't blend it in like on your nose. But when I have just that extra minute, I like to apply it with a sponge. That's my favorite. Now, you can apply both of these with a brush and they have a little bit higher coverage. They're still really pretty, but I still find myself wanting to take a sponge and blend in the rest or take my fingers and blend in the rest after I've used a brush. But really that's a personal thing because I don't use brushes for foundation and stuff like that very often anyway. So it's really up to your personal taste. But today I wanna use a sponge because that is my favorite way to do it. The sponge I'll be using today is from Shop Miss A. It's like $1.50, it's my favorite sponge. Shipping usually takes a while so I'll usually order like 10 or 12 of these. The thing that struck me the very first time I tried this years ago is that it almost looks gray, doesn't it? But it blends in to be just the prettiest finish. And I, I don't know if it's because of my own skin tone. I lean maybe a little more neutral. And so I found over the years that a lot of foundations will either lean too yellow on my skin or too kind of orange. Whereas this, even though it can be intimidating when you see the gray, it just blends in so well. So let's dive into blending this in so you can really see. It gives such a pretty natural radiant finish. I don't think it's too over the top glowy. However, I do think that if you had maybe more oily skin, it might not be your cup of tea. You might find that you can see your oils even more through it because you can already see the glow. Oh my gosh. I love this stuff so much, you guys. So where I have no coverage here versus there, definitely covered a decent amount of my freckles, but you can still see my skin through it, and that's what I love about it. But you can definitely build this up, and it never gets to that point where it looks like cakey or weird. You can put it a little bit near your under eye if you want. I'm sure I'll st I still usually wear concealer with this, but this is definitely one of my go-to products, just always. But especially if you're just wanting to slap something on your skin to look a lot more put together, make your skin look so healthy. It really gets rid of any like dullness I'm feeling in my skin. It just instantly looks alive and youthful. And if you have drier skin, it just does not attach to any dry spots. It just makes your skin look so healthy. So moving on to the Purito one, its official name is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream. I again wear the exact same shade, number 23. The packaging of this one is a, a true squeezy tube. And another thing to note that I do think is really important is that the Misha comes with 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. This one comes with one ounce or 30 milliliters. So you almost get double and typically you can get these around the same price depending on where you're buying it online. Same thing with this. This is beautiful with your fingers, just blending it on as though it's a sunscreen, except for it's offering all this awesome coverage but it also has a slight gray tone. Here's a comparison swatch of the two of them side by side so you can see. So I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge so I'm not mixing it or anything like that. But again, I love this with a sponge. I've loved it with my fingers. Like it's just so pretty. And this is, the Purito one is one I recently discovered and they did apparently just reformulate it. So a lot of the YouTubers I watch that have loved this for a hot minute were worried when they reformulated it. Seemingly, they think it's basically the same, if not better, than the old formulation, which I, I never tried the old one, but this one is absolutely beautiful. So that's one coat of the Purito. Again, it adds that same, like, glowy, radiant look to the skin. There's the Misha. 
there's the Purito. Let me do a second layer like I did with the other just to kind of see. Looking at the coverage level, I feel like the coverage level is the same, the finish is the same, ease of application is the same. I just think both of them are so beautiful. So, so I wanted to show you guys this in natural light. You can see they are nearly the same product. They just have such a pretty finish and I just can't get over how similar they are. So I'm partially done doing my makeup and I wanted to stop and say that Another thing to keep in mind is that if you have like, I have pretty normal to dry skin. And so right now it's not super dry, but I do feel like with products like this, I like to put a little bit of powder here and on my nose. And I just find that helps it stay a little bit longer, but also takes down a little bit of that shine, but you can still see the like life in your skin. And it always looks so good that way. So wanted to point that out. Today what I'll probably use is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I'll probably toss that in my T-zone just so you know. Not my favorite powder ever, but it's a really thin, simple powder that's perfect for just soaking up a little bit of oil. And another thing to note is that it's not super tacky. I've probably had this on now for 10, 15 minutes and the tackiness has pretty much gone away. So if that's something that would bother you, it does kind of set down and sink into the skin really, really nicely. All right, so we are done getting ready. I've got, I just reheated my coffee as always. So let's get into the nitty gritty of this. So both of these are available in various sites online. The Misha one retails for $22. I would say don't ever buy it for that because Misha always has like 40 and 50% off sales. When I'm filming this until the end of February, 2021, they're having a 40% off sale, so it's $13 on Misha's site. But you can also get this for like nine or $10 on Amazon. I've bought recent ones from Amazon. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. They also sell it on iHerb for around the same price. Purito actually doesn't sell it from the brand site, but they do link you to buy it on Amazon. It's also sold on Yes Style and Stylevana, all for around $10. So it's hard to say a definitive price, but both of these are around $10, around the same price. So shade range wise, these are both Asian brands catering to Asian skin tones. Purito has three shades. I wear the middle one, number 23. Misha, I think you still only have three or four, but now I was looking, they have like seven. Again, I've, I've heard from a contact from this brand that they're reformulating it, but that was a while ago and I don't know that they've reformulated it yet. And she said they were adding more shades. So I don't know if they're adding more, more shades or if those extra few were the shade expand. I don't know. So I do have one other shade of the Misha I wanted to show you. This is shade 21, that's 23. So 21, I've used probably half of this one up. It blends in and works just fine. It just makes me look a slight bit paler than I maybe am. But I'm telling you, there's something about the formulas of all of these that just somehow blend into your skin even when it's not a perfect shade match. It's the most bizarre thing. So a big difference right off the bat is that the Purito comes with one ounce or 30 milliliters. The Misha comes with 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. That means that you're almost getting double. And since you can typically get them for around the same price point, you really are getting a better deal with the Misha one price wise and amount wise, you know what I'm saying. I've already exhausted the idea that they both have the same finish. I really feel like wear time wise, they have the same wear time. They'll wear for like 10 or 12 hours and look really lovely. And what I do appreciate about these is that if I've got a foundation, and this is an important distinction, if I've got a foundation that's medium coverage, after about 10 or 12 hours, no matter what, it's gonna start breaking apart and looking weird in certain spots. The thing I appreciate about these two products is that as it's starting to wear away, my skin still looks nice and healthy. It doesn't look splotchy and weird. It's almost as though it like sinks into the skin. And I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, you guys, but my skin just looks better at the end of the night after, even after this is worn off a bit than it does with like, a foundation. Say medium coverage, you can kind of amp it up a little bit, especially if you use a brush, but generally medium coverage for both of them. SPF, the Purito has, it actually, I couldn't find it online, but I finally found on the back, it says SPF of 38 on this, SPF of 42 for the Misha, very close in SPF. And I would say as a general rule, I would still put on an SPF under any facial product like a BB cream or foundation because Re better safe than sorry. I wouldn't trust your makeup to be providing the sun protection you need. You know what I'm saying? That is just a general life rule from Miss Jessie to you. <laughs> I never called myself Miss Jessie. That was weird. So, here are some ingredient call outs from the brands. Again, keeping in mind, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know a lot about every single ingredient in products, but for the Purito, it's called their Sika Clearing BB Cream. So it says it's the Sika or Sika. I always assumed it was Sika, but now I'm starting to doubt myself. All right, so it is pronounced Sika, at least on the like three sites I just checked. So it's actually, I, I just also learned that Sika is actually Centella Asiatica, 
which is tiger grass. I'm learning a lot, guys. <laughs> anyway, it's supposed to strengthen your skin barrier, and it does particularly it does particularly, I can't say that word, say that it's free of essential oils and fragrances, and that I appreciate. So a big difference right off the bat here is that the Misha does have a scent. And honestly, I didn't really pick up on the scent because it wasn't an offensive fragrance to me, you know what I mean? But it's definitely there. Once a lot of you guys pointed out, I'm like, I smelled it, I'm like, oh my gosh, Jessica, how did you not notice? That's something to keep in mind. If you are sensitive to fragrance or scent, I would go with the Purito period. But the Misha one says that it's got hyaluronic acid and ceramides, which is gonna really help with hydration and keeping your skin supple. I know some people don't like the word supple. <laughs> and then to soothe the skin, it's got rosemary leaf extract and chamomile extract, which I wonder if that's where the scent is coming from. I don't know, I can't quite pinpoint what that scent is, you know? So to try to condense what I've discussed here, bottom line is, if you are sensitive to fragrance, go with a Purito. If you have oily skin, avoid both of them. If you want to get the most for your money, go with the Misha. If you'd prefer to have a pump instead of a squeezy tube, go with the Misha. If you want a couple more shade options, even though again, the shade range is abysmal, go with the Misha. And that's about it. They perform very similarly. They look the same on the skin. They last the same on the skin. You can get them for around the same price from the same places, especially like I said, Amazon is the easiest. I never feel like I'm having a bad skin day when I'm using one of these two products. And I just, I love the way it makes my skin look. And if I could only pick one foundation-y BB cream product for the rest of my life, it would be one of these two. If you ask me which one is my favorite out of the two, I honestly don't know because the fragrance in this doesn't bother me. And of course you get more for your money, but I'm really enjoying the Purito and I know performance wise, they look the same. So don't make me pick guys. I really, I genuinely can't. So if you enjoyed this style of video, give it a thumbs up so I know maybe I can do some more direct comparison videos like this. If you have any specific products you want me to compare, especially if it's ones that you've heard me talk about before, please let me know in a comment down below. I also do dupes videos where, I mean, you technically see comparisons there for high-end favorites of mine and finding drugstore dupes, and a lot of them end up being better than the more expensive one, I will link my drugstore dupes playlist. I'd love if you subscribed. I do upload three videos a week. I'd love to have you join our family, and I will see you guys in my next one.